Welcome back, welcome back lovely peoples, thank you for joining me for our next mini lead adventure. And on this one I just migrated to a kingdom, I did a little bit of scouting around, kingdom scouting, and I found 812. Looks pretty cute and I saw a lot of targets like this, so I bought some resource and I decided I would have a little go. This guy's dropping quite good from leaderless marches, I probably should have just gone in with the solo, looking at that gear as well, the almighty winter parkour. And uh, yeah, this kingdom's been pretty kind to me. Later on, you'll see me get rallied leaderless, and we get to see how that goes. But right now, we're just going to get through some targets that I found. I get the walk back on this one, and you can see he's just got a hideable troop comp. So we'll get this zero now, or knocked off the wonder at least. So now I know this lemon has got a really dodgy troop comp. Of course, we will be coming in with Le Solo. I decided to go Cav, but looking back on it with the minimum amounts of infantry that he had left, I kind of wish that I went range, as well as my range being super, super powerful as well compared to the Cav. Well, the Cav's still pretty powerful, but... So coming out in with the Cav Blast, just checking the formation and stuff, he's on 404 million might and le pouf. He gets ported off of the Wonder, and that is so annoying. It took me so long to find this guy. I kind of gave up looking, but then I found him like an hour later, and luckily he still hadn't shielded. So I, I, we do get the zero complete a little bit later on. But that is the first lemon that bites the dust. Then we have this cute little lemon. I noticed he was 81 mil with really low turf slots, so I ported it and scouted him. And lo and behold, he did actually have just over a million troopers. So nothing to write home about here, but just stacking up the kills on a nice Wednesday morning. And it was a real treat. So a 21 million might drop there. He was in Cav foul. We go Cav on Cav. And it's just a little bit of T3. Like I say, nothing to write home about, but kills are kills. Now we've got this guy, and this was a beautiful target. Have a look at this. He's got 3 million troops, a lot of T4, some T2. And he's actually got his leader in the shelter, which is obviously interesting. So again, on this one, I did decide to send out a Cav March, much to my regret. I think this guy does end up being in a Larange formation, but we don't get capped, of course. We do come walking on home. He doesn't swap gear or unshelter the leader. I'm not being baited, and he's even got a purple trickster as his leader anyway. Not that that matters, as it's in the shelter, but a nice 3 million troops. And again, by this point, I've already got almost 5 million kills in this kingdom just in uh, in about half an hour, to be honest. I was racking up the kills. It honestly is quite a cute kingdom. I don't think it's going to last too long, but it's nice just to hop around and have some fun. So now we're going to get the infantry march, obviously countering that front line. This should be a juicy hit. Speeding it in like there's no tomorrow. And let's have a little look at this one so this should be a lot better it's oh yeah that's nice xp a million losses 29.7 million might drop that's what i like to see and now we're ready to come in with le cav march so coming on in now as the troops come walking home we get ready we swap the formation swap the talents and get this party ready to start rocking baby i was having a lot of fun this morning it was a lot of fun and then I took it a little bit too far with a solo target, as you will see, which definitely wasn't a solo target. And at this point, I don't even have a guild. I just made my own guild, and then, you know, there's nobody here with me. I'm not getting any reinforcements or anything. So, you know, I knew that maybe getting capped was a little bit risky, but I, as you can see, I was having so much fun. The last thing I was worried about was getting rallied. So, yeah, we're doing really well at this point. Another cav march just split in between the imp and the cav. So another 22 million might drop. I didn't actually realise how much might worth of troops this guy lost. But I guess 600k each T4, that is, you know, 1.8 million T4 down the drain. Pretty nice zero, down to 392 mil. Coming in with pretty much the last march, leaving probably a little behind. But again, another 22 million might drop. And a big rest in peace to this lemon from Y17. So having a good old time in 812. And uh, yeah, just mopping up the rest of those troops with a cheeky little leaderless march. Now we're moving on to some more leaderless stuff. I was just trying to get this guy's front line. Again, I kind of wish I had just soloed him a little bit sooner. I didn't expect him to burn off of the wonder as quickly as he did. But this guy was... 
This guy was losing a lot. One of his friends tried to garrison him with cav, so I sent a leaderless range march, and the, the guy got capped. Like an absolute lemon, he didn't send any buffers or anything, and he, he was only in really bad mixed gear, so that was quite funny. And then I continue my conquest. I send a cav march because he's run out of range, and there you go. You can see that I do get the burn. He probably had about 5 or 6 million troops when I started. I was getting about 400k kills for every leaderless march, so we'll get back to that lemon when I find him. But we did come across this lemon as I was looking for the other lemon, and now it's time to finish this little zero. This is the guy that burnt off the wonder first. So coming in, just mopping up the troops, just a nice cheeky little 15 million might drop, and gobbling up his leader and that 200k as well. And now going back to Sir Melidas, Sir Meli, Meliodas, Meli, 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 Sir, Sir something, and uh, yeah, getting that gobbled up now. And it, this was a real treat. We had a nice little, a nice little bit of fun with this guy. I did obviously lose a fair bit of T2 hitting him so many times leaderless. I do regret not just going in with the leader solo a little bit earlier. But, you know, I, I was hesitant about getting capped. I was also hesitant about how many troops this guy would have because he has got very minimal turfs lost. But as you can see, now he is in a world of pain. Coming in with another cav march should be juicy once again. And I had a bit of help finding this guy, so a big shout out to PK man. He helped me find this guy. It was a real treat. I was losing my mind trying to find him. And eventually we did just that. So let's have a look at this one when the game loads. Another 14 million my drop, almost a million kills. So that guy in total probably gave me about 5 or 6 million kills, including all of the kills from the leaderless solos. And uh, yeah, these guys are quite smart that they're at the least sleeping on the wonder, so it was really difficult to find him. But in the end I did, and I do get the leader as well. So a big rest in peace to Sir Meliodas. But yeah, big rest in peace to this guy. Absolute lemon. A nice 1.1 mil reds on that one. Followed by some more reds on the next. And that is a real treat. Now this is where Char Char took it a little bit too far. I knew this guy was probably online. Looking at his stats, I figured, you know, what's the worst that could happen? It's an 800 mil solo target. I'm sure he's just going to have a couple of million troops. What can go wrong, you know? What, what, what can really go wrong at this point? So, I figured I'd give it a good old go. Give it the best infantry solo I can give. And let's just have a look what happens here. It's safe to say this wasn't the most, most, you know, sensible choice that Chao Chao ever made. 834 million might coming in with that infantry solo. I'm pretty sure he doesn't even swap gear. And boom, we drop him down to 831.7. So not even a 3 million might drop on that one. And then I do get this guy set a rally on me. And then I get the rally lead from TS set a rally on me as well. So little Char Char is officially in trouble. Only at 664 million might. I've lost a lot of troopers today. So let's have a look how we take the first one. It is a cav rally, going to swap into range. They're a bit slow on the carpets, going to casually hit an army attack boost. Just double check its cavalry. And in, rather than them wasting their carpets, I thought I'd just reload and, you know, help them out a little bit. So 3.5 killed and injured. Although I'm capped, that is a beautiful, beautiful take from the mini lead. What a beast. And this guy actually had really good cav gear. I was very impressed, but not good enough. So... Now we've got Jester Fink coming in as well. I had a good feeling this would be an infantry rally. He was showing the inf gear minutes before the rally walked, which again is an interesting tactic as a rally lead, maybe trying to confuse me. But yeah, fair play to Huan here. He said he was very surprised. He was asking me, how did I do that? And the answer is, I have a lot of troops. So there you go. He's got some pretty good familiars and everything as well. And he only did 798k reds. Which is really, really good considering I don't have my leader. We got that gold chronicler as well now. So in comes Jester Fink, popping another 70 attack boost just in case. This one was an infantry rally. I took it in cav foul. I have had quite a lot of walkbacks in cav foul when I'm leaderless, but not today, baby. Jester Fink, 55 stars, some really good inf gear. Not quite like fully maxed with the cups, but he's got a really nice infantry set and he actually does 1.2 million reds. That pesty cab foul, but a really good take again. 
And watching this a second time round, I do actually notice that they didn't quite fill that rally. But I've got to say, what a T5 count. Almost 600k T5. They're not the biggest guild in the world as well. So I was really, really impressed. And giving me 520k T2 reds on the cav and 770k on the range. So a not bad defense at all. Really happy with that one. And it's really exciting to get rallied, to be honest. It was so much fun. I was absolutely buzzing, so a big shout out to TS and Y17, and that is about it for this one, but hopefully we'll get some more 812 action. I really do hope you've enjoyed, don't forget about all the deals from Aptoid, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you very soon in the next one.